Hi everyone, today time for another uh, quick watch overview. Uh, today we have the Seiko Paddy SBDC 055. This is one of the uh, the Paddy Special Editions. Um, these editions have their fans and they have the detractors. Me, I, I like them when they they're done um, they're done well. And in this case, I think this one is done uh, very well. The striking feature of this watch, I think, is the dial. Um, hopefully you can make it out on this camera. It is a blue-black fade with a wave texture on it. Um, that makes this unique uh, amongst the other models in this line. It has the red minute hand and red markers at 12, 3, 6, and 9. Um, has the same case as the other models in this series, which is a really nice um, kind of flat case. Uh, you know, not, not a terribly high profile, uh, fits very well actually under a shirt cuff um, when not on a NATO. Um, drilled lugs, polished brushed bevels on the sides, polished on the top, uh, the acrylic type uh, bezel, and the bezel itself, uh, the, the teeth uh, coin edge, is, uh, looks to be anodized uh, blue, again with the, with the patty color scheme. Um, again, special edition, not limited. So, you know, while they can be hard to find, um, it's not impossible. And uh, if you're looking for it, it'll, you know, probably be available uh, when, you're looking, when you want it. Um, it is uh, delivered on a rubber strap, a uh, blue rubber strap. I switched it for a NATO simply because I'm not a huge fan of rubber straps. The Seiko rubber straps on these are, are really great, but, um, you know, I, I prefer NATO um, myself with this design, particularly with the case. Uh, shape it's very flat it does uh, fit uh, pretty nicely even though the, the NATO pumps it up an extra um, couple millimeters again um, I'll just show the case back real quickly it does say um, Seiko special edition hopefully that's, that's legible um, probably <laughs> probably not uh, uh, and made in Japan with a sapphire crystal um, Really nice uh, case shape, very slim, great contours. Um, I am a, uh, a finishing guy. I, I like a nicely finished case and Seiko really delivers that um, at, at these modest price points. Uh, I think it's, you know, this, this kind of quality uh, and uh, attention to detail is, is what sets uh, you know, Seiko apart from most of the time um, from, from other uh, manufacturers in its area you know the, the designs are almost never derivative unless you want to include their own history and uh, unique and sometimes a bit bold I, I call this bold with with the red and blue accents um, it's a you know really a nice design it's got some you know some spunk to it some some liveliness but it's not overbearing um, and hey, even my wife uh, enjoys it and says that it's a an attractive watch which is always always a bonus so anyway, I um, want to make this quick, just cover um, this model and what's different about it compared to the other ones. Again, it's, it's the dial, of course, um, and also the, uh, the bezel, the coin edge is blue. Those are things that make it unique, which make it um, a patty in this case. Uh, the bezel is black, and it may appear to be uh, bluish or something like that in some pictures, but it's not, only the actual edging um, is blue. And, uh, of course, the, the crown is still uh, unsigned. So, there we go. There you have it. Here is the Paddy SBDC 055 Special Edition.